let's debate it. Could there have been blood on the shirt, uh, one that he, in the course of all this drama, took off? And could that explain why investigators never found any blood on him? Starting Mike Godley for the defense, uh, criminal defense attorney out of Miami. You, is it possible? What? Maybe the shirt disappeared and that's what had the blood on it. It's possible that he was wearing a shirt and when he... He picked her up and he took his kids and he took the kids out of the house. Perhaps he took the shirt off. Perhaps somebody took the shirt from him. I think anything's possible. What you have to understand is all the evidence you're talking about is circumstantial evidence. There's really no direct evidence that he committed this crime. It's all circumstantial evidence. And I think that's the problem with the prosecution's case. But, Mike Gottlieb spatter. for the defense. I think it should have been done. It's something that should have been done. It's an investigative technique. It could have shown that there was recent gunshot residue on his hands, under his fingernails. It's absolutely something that should have been done. They also could have swabbed him for her DNA, for her blood. That also wasn't done and should have been pointed out. And I disagree. I think that the brother, yes, he might love him. He's a half-brother, but he's also a former law enforcement officer, and he I think that gives him a lot of credibility. But he's changed his story. The brother has changed his story. I still think the jury's going to see him as a former law enforcement officer, right. and that gives him... Right there, but we're going to stay on top of this case. Right. Uh, Mike Gottlieb, criminal defense attorney out of Miami, do you think that there is going to be a penalty phase retrial? I think given the notoriety of this case that the prosecution in all likelihood and probably given the wishes of the uh, of the Alexander family, there probably will be a second penalty phase to this trial. Absolutely.